Hello hunters, this is the Principia College Land Stewardship Program Deer Hunt Orientation. I am John Loseth, I'm the Land Stewardship Manager, and with me helping me out is Jeremy Burby, he is the Land Stewardship Biologist. So what are we going to be talking about today? We're going to have a look back at previous deer hunt seasons to see how we did. We'll talk about the current uh, dates and seasons for deer hunting. We'll look at the 2020 procedures and what is different this year. And then I'll show you the online application. So last year we had a variety of hunting activities on campus, all deer hunting. Here are the stand locations. Uh, and so uh, I expect this year it will be pretty similar. Uh, you'll have a chance later to provide your stand location when you fill out the application online. Uh, if we look back in time, this is uh, the amount of deer harvested going back to 1998. And you can see that the early 2000s were very productive, harvesting between 35 and 45 deer each year. And then there was a slight dip and it picked back up. Uh, but for the past three or four years, uh, our, our harvest totals have really dropped off considerably. And uh, I'm looking for reasons as to why that might be. Uh, if we look at deer observations, so whenever you guys fill out one of those observation forms, we tally that up. Uh, you can see that those numbers have jumped around considerably uh, up and down. And, and this information might not be totally reliable because if you didn't fill out a form, then that information didn't go in there. It also depends on how many hunters we had and how long they hunted for. So none of this information has been averaged out with those considerations, but it still gives a general idea of what is being observed out there. If we look at just last year, uh, there were 18 hunters and you hunted for almost 150 hours. 10 deer were harvested, six of them were does and four were bucks. So that was quite a, a good effort, um, but I'm thinking about ways to increase that, that effort uh, because I believe our deer population is getting a little too high. So what are the deer hunt seasons this year? Well, archery season is from November 1st to January 1st. So it's all of November and December. And in fact, you can start uh, that weekend. So it actually starts October 30th. So you can hunt October 30th, the 31st, and then November 1st. So that's the archery season. The shotgun season is, the first one is November 20th through the 22nd. And the second season is December 3rd through the 6th, which is also the first muzzleloader season. The second muzzleloader season is December 11th through the 13th. All of those seasons are allowable at Principia. It's really important each time you hunt and you have a harvest that you fill out one of these cards. These cards provide vital data for us. It helps us understand what's going on with our deer population. Uh, so this is absolutely essential. Uh, the other thing we need every time you go hunting, whether or not you harvest an animal, is this hunter uh, activity uh, sheet. It has the hours hunted, what you saw out there, any other observations you might have. So this year, the application to hunt is online. And uh, I'm emailing everyone this video plus the uh, link to the online application. Uh, <laughs> if you want to type this in to your web browser, it will take you right there. Uh, and so you can uh, fill out your application online and it's pretty easy to do.
There's a few things I want to note that are different this year than previous years. Uh, for each uh, stand or blind location, it's going to be a $50 deposit. However, if you harvest a deer, specifically a doe, if you harvest a doe, you will get that $50 deposit back. But if you have two stands, you pay a $100 deposit and you only shoot one doe, you only get $50 back. But if you shoot two does from the two stands, you get the full 100 back. The buck harvest fees are different this year. Uh, if you harvest a buck that is smaller, so we're gauging small bucks as bucks that are six points or less, it's not a perfect system, but it's where we're starting this year. Uh, that is $300. If you harvest a buck that is greater than six points, uh, that is a $100 fee. So uh, we encourage you to harvest bucks, but there is a fee associated with that. And if you harvest does, you actually get your deposit back. So keep that in mind. One of the reasons why we charge more for younger bucks or smaller bucks than larger bucks is because we are interested in letting the deer age and, and, be, and improve the overall hunting. It's part of our quality deer management program, and it's fairly simple. You simply let the small bucks walk by and you wait for them to mature, and it just overall creates better hunting for everyone if we can do that. So. That is the logic behind that policy. Here are the basic rules for hunting on campus. And so I'm just gonna read these to you. Hunting access will be allowed only on designated parts of Principia. You can't hunt just anywhere. And you must hunt from an approved deer stand. And so when you fill out the application, you will provide the latitude and longitude, the coordinates for your stands. We will plot those on a map and then we will field check those to ensure that they are where you said they were. You must check in and out at the Principia College gatehouse each time you hunt. This is absolutely essential that, that each time you hunt, you check in and out. And you need to display your parking permit in the dash of your truck or vehicle and park in designated areas. Uh, parking on the sides of roads is allowed and is fine near your hunting area. Of course, you need to have legal and unfilled deer permits for Jersey County. Uh, this is a requirement of the state and you need to follow all state rules when it comes to hunting. Uh, you must hunt from a removable tree stand no tree uh, forts, no tree houses are allowed. Uh, you need to have a safety harness. And just as a common courtesy to everyone uh, else, uh, please limit your activity during hunting hours so you don't disturb the wildlife. Also, uh, when you hunt, please use the highest ethical guidelines be sure of your shot and allow ample time to pass before you pursue a wounded deer. Please don't create a situation where you leave a gut pile uh, near a road or somewhere visible. We've been really good about this in the past and I just want to commend you for that and let's continue with that. Also, of course, there's no tobacco, drugs, or alcohol allowed on Principi College property and no one under the influence of any type of substance is allowed to participate in the deer hunt. So what do you need to do to hunt at Principia? Here's a checklist. First, complete the online form after you watch this video. Ensure that you have all of the proper hunting permits and tags for does and bucks in Illinois. Look at the hunting map and find your location. Uh, in, in the application process, there is a link that takes you to a map where you can identify the coordinates of your area. Finish that 
hunting application online and then mail in a check to Jeremy Burby uh, made out to Principia College $50 for each stand and if you could please have a separate check for each stand and each stand is $50 and then once we have confirmed all of your information you will receive an email notifying that you are indeed allowed and authorized to hunt. If you do not have an email from us, uh, you are not authorized. So you have to wait until you have that email from us. Once you are approved to go hunting, uh, here, here's the hunting checklist on the day of the hunt uh, or anytime you go hunting. Uh, you must check in and out at the gatehouse and display your parking permit in your vehicle's dashboard. Uh, each time you go hunting, you need to complete an observation sheet that I showed you earlier and submit that to the gatehouse when you check out. We are looking about putting this online so you can just fill it out online. Finally, if you do harvest a deer, we congratulate you. Uh, you need to fill out a deer harvest data tag. And of course, I would love to see pictures, especially of the bucks. Please send in your payment for a buck harvest. So $300 for a small buck, less six, inches, six points or less, or $100 for a buck that is greater than six points uh, within one week to Jeremy Burby. That is all the information I have for you right now. If you have any questions or comments, please send me an email and I'm happy to talk by phone or text as well. Thank you so much for helping us manage our deer population. There's lots of great benefits uh, to this program, and I appreciate your willingness to help us reach our land management goals. Happy hunting. <laughs>